Okay, let's look at this question. All right. Um, an object of mass 20 kg is located 160 kilo km above the Earth's surface. Given the radius of Earth is this one, calculate the gravitational field strength at that point. Okay. Uh, all right. Right now. Okay. Uh, let's do it. So we have the this one is the he give you the mass of okay first of all the question asks for gravitational field strength right gravitational field strength so the word field there uh, let us know we need to find ag uh, we need to find uh, ag uh, not the force huh? it's the field strength ag okay here it give you the mass of object oh this is the test mass uh, this is the test mass not the point mass be careful, some of you use this mass to calculate the gravitational field strength, which is wrong. It is not the object who provide the field. It is the earth who provide the field. We need to know what's the mass of earth. Uh, earth is the point mass. But the mass of earth is not given. It's not given. It gives you the test mass just to confuse you. Don't ever ever use this value. Don't ever ever use the test mass to calculate. Okay, this is the trap. Okay, so this is a trap. Okay, it gives you this one uh located 160 kilo kilometer. Okay, it gives you 160 kilometer. Uh this one is the okay, hold on a second. Uh this one is the H uh, because this is 160 kilometer above the surface. Ah See that uh, above the surface so this is the h uh, the height uh, 160 kilo kilometer so you need to convert to si unit meter only yeah uh, so this is the h not the r uh, this is the h it's not the r so uh, radius of earth okay give you the radius of earth here again you have to change the kilometer okay so uh, how to find uh, gravitational field strength at that point? At what point? At this height lah. At this uh, 160 kilometer above the surface. At that point. At this point lah. Uh, I want to find at this point. Okay. Uh, at at this point. Understand? So, uh, okay. What's the formula for AG? AG is uh G M O R square. Okay. G M O R square. So uh, let's write down the formula first. The gravitational field strength is a G mass of Earth over R. Okay, remember this is the mass of Earth or mass of planet. It's the using the point mass uh, or mass of Earth. It's the one, the Earth who provide the field. Yeah, Earth who provide the field, not the test mass, uh, not the object mass. Don't ever use 20 kilogram into, don't ever use a, uh, 20 kilogram into the mass of earth earth is not just 20 kilogram so don't do such silly mistake ah huh? uh, this is test mass not the mass of earth so you need to find the mass of earth where you can find it in the least of constant provided okay uh, this will be provided during the exam the least of constant will be provided in during the exam okay ah uh, so, uh, this value will be provided during the exam. Mass of Earth uh, it will be provided in the list of constant. So, uh, don't use a 20 kilogram. Uh, that is the test mass. That is not the provider of field. Uh, this acceleration due to gravity or gravitational field strength, this gravitational field is provided by the point mass. The bigger the, bigger the point mass, the stronger the gravitational field. Uh, because it is the point mass who provide the gravitational field. So, don't ever use test mass for this one. Yeah? Uh, test mass is already being cancelled out. Yeah? When uh, we use the, uh, the other equation, Ag equal to Fg over M. Uh, this one, this one here, this one is the test mass. Uh, but we don't use this formula. Okay? Uh, the, this one, the small m here below, this one is the test mass. Ah, uh, uh, this one is the 20 kilogram. Okay? Uh, that is the test mass. But for, uh, so it's being cancelled out already. Yeah? Cancelled by the test mass in the gravitational force formula. 
cancel already. That's why the final formula don't have the test mass. Understand? Uh, the test mass is over here, not this one. This one is the point mass. Okay, so uh, first of all, let us where to find the mass of Earth in the list of constant. Ne never mind, we just use the mass of Earth from uh, the previous questions. What's the mass of Earth? Yeah, in the previous question, yeah, just use that value. Mass of Earth is, uh, yeah, radius of Earth. Radius of Earth is, uh, mass of Earth is uh, 5.98 exponent 24. 59824. Uh, use the 59824. Okay, so the mass of Earth, uh, we got it. Mass of Earth is actually 5.9824. Yeah. Uh, okay, use this one. Okay, okay. So uh, on the Earth's, uh, okay, he won the uh, point this altitude uh, at this altitude. So again, this R is uh, radius of Earth plus altitude. Uh, remember our notes. Okay, R R is the distance of the point to the center of Earth. So R is not is not just the altitude. Uh, it is the altitude plus radius of Earth. Uh, altitude plus radius of Earth. So remember, don't forget the radius of Earth. Don't forget this one. Uh. Don't forget the plus. Don't just straight away put oh R is uh R is uh, 160 kilometer. Uh, this is wrong. This is wrong. You need to plus with the radius of Earth some more, yeah? Uh, so this is wrong, not just that one, yeah. So uh, let's find out. Uh, uh, so R is not uh, 160, yeah. So let's find out the R first. Uh? let's find out the. Uh, uh, never mind. Let, let, let us do it directly here. Yeah? Let us do it directly. So AG is uh, G mass of Earth, the point mass over R is radius of Earth plus altitude square. <laughs> okay. So uh, G, what is the value of G? G value is 6.67 exponent negative 11. Okay. Uh, 6.67 exponent negative 11. So the mass of Earth is uh, 5.98. Not the 20 kilogram, uh, not the test mass. Uh, it's the point mass. Uh, so uh, uh, this is the point mass divided by the mass of uh, radius of Earth. Radius of Earth is what? What is the radius of Earth? Is it provided? Ah, radius of Earth is 6370 kilometer. Ah, so we need to change to meter 6.6. Okay, is 6370, but it's kilometer. Need to change to meter. So it's uh, exponent 3. Exponent 3. Uh, okay, uh, change to meter already, right? Uh, yeah, exponent 3 already. Uh, exponent 3. Okay, plus altitude. What's the altitude? Altitude is uh, 160 kilometer. Also change to meter. 160 exponent 3. Uh, 160 exponent 3. Uh, meter also. Yeah, meter. Uh, so, uh, okay. Alright. Uh, okay. So, uh, square. Uh, what's the square? Huh? So, uh, don't forget the square. Many students write long, long, uh, write long, long over here. In the end, forget to square, forget to square. Put the red color. Uh, forget to square. What a pity. You got all correct suddenly just because of careless mistake, you get the wrong answer. Uh, very pity. Uh, what I think is very pity. So, don't, don't be careless. Be a, a thorough student. Yeah? Be a thorough student. So, let's calculate. Ah, I got the answer. It is 9.35 uh, 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 meter per second square or uh, Newton per kilogram. Okay, so that's the answer. 9.35, is it correct? 9.35, 9.35, 9.35. Okay, is it correct? Uh, 9.33 uh, is almost the same. Yeah, that's the same answer. Okay, so that's correct. Yeah, 9.35 um, is almost the same. Okay, 9.35 for uh, 9.33 is almost the same. Yeah, okay, so that's correct. Yeah, the answer. Okay, uh, that's all for these questions. All right, thank you.